Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, quadratic functions. No? And dito sa video na to ay uh, mag-aaral tayo paano ba kinukuha yung roots ng quadratic function. Algebraically. No? So, kung uh, familiar kayo sa factoring at sa quadratic uh, equations, yung uh, getting the roots of quadratic equations, which can include factoring, completing the square, at saka... What else? Quadratic formula. Then, this should be a review. No? Kung hindi nyo naman alam at uh, gusto nyo pag-aaralan siya, hanapin nyo yung ating uh, uh, videos on quadratic functions. No? So, nandun yung mga roots. Uh, ayun yung quadratic formula. Aralin nyo at saka yung factoring also. So, here we, we will find the roots of uh, the two functions below which are uh, f of x and g of x. And... These are functions with two roots, no? Kasi from the previous video, meron tayong pinag-aralan na merong uh, two real roots, two roots whose roots are uh, real numbers and distinct. Meron tayong two real roots na equal. And uh, we have, uh, of course, the, the, yung walang root, walang real root, ibig sabihin na complex number yung kanyang root, no? So here we solve for uh, the first function. We have, f of x equals uh, x squared minus 4x plus 3. No? So, napag-aralan pala natin from the previous videos na yung root, ano may ibig sabihin ng root? Yun yung part kung saan the value of x where the, the function passes through. No? So, for example, this, uh, this quadratic function, limbawa, okay, so, for example, uh, this function, Uh, halimbawa, ang ah, nagpa-pass through siya sa anong coordinate na to? For example, this is a uh, negative 1 and this is 5 uh, kunwari or 4. No? So, ano yung coordinate nito? The coordinate of this is negative 1, 0. Negative 1, 0. Kasi yung y natin, 0. Yung x natin, pag dito tayo, negative 1. And then we have 4, 0. Okay, so kung napapansin ninyo, at these points, kung saan nag intersect yung graph sa x-axis, the y value is actually 0. So, ang y value ng f of x natin is, di ba, yung y equals, y equals f of x, di ba? Yung, yung isang notation ng f of x is y. So, f, we can replace this with y, and since y equals this value, 0, we have to set this to 0 also. Okay? Malinaw ba yun? So, para makuha natin yung x, yung kung saan siya nag intersect we set y to 0. Kasi yung mga coordinates, y coordinates niya na 0. So, x squared, gawin na natin 0. We have 0 equals Uh, x squared minus 4x plus 3. And this is already a quadratic equation, so we can factor out. Pinakamadaling way is to factor. So we have x, we have x. Ang, ang product natin ay 3. Tapos ang sum natin ay negative 4. So pwede tayo ng minus 1 tsaka minus 3. Okay? So... Negative 4 kasi negative 1 times x, then negative 3 times x is negative 4x. Pag in mo yung dalawa. And then the product is 3. So, kailan siya magiging 0? If one of these, if this is 0 or this is 0, kailan ito magiging 0? So, pwede natin equate yan. Kailan siya magiging 0? When x equals 1. Kasi pa nag 1 minus 1 ka 0, 0 times any number here is 0. So, this is correct. Or this one is 0 kasi pag 0 times this number, any number here, this will also equal to 0. So, x minus 3 equals 0, kaya i-set natin just to 0 and then x equals 3. So, what do we know here? We know that the graph passes through 1 and 3. No? And from the, from the previous equations, or sorry, from the previous videos, makita natin that if uh, the graph, if the value of a, no, 
if a is greater than 0, opens upward, no? Tignan nyo yung QF04 yata, 04 to 07, nandun yan. Opens upward, and a is less than 0, opens downward. So, ibig sabihin, this graph opens upward and it passes through x equals 1 and x equals 3. Okay. So, let's have uh, our graph. Ano yung graph natin? f of x equals x squared minus 4x. Tama ba tayo? Baka mali ako. Minus 4x plus 3. Ano, ano na sabi natin sa graph? It opens upward and passes through x equals 1, x equals 3. Opens out upward and passes through x equals 1, x equals 3. Okay? So, tama tayo, no? Okay, so yan lang muna sa ngayon. Eh, ang susunod natin na, na video, ano, kasi masyado na itong mahaba later. Kung tutuloy pa natin. We will discuss the G of X in the next video. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.